Well, thank you everybody for being here, all the everybody's who are here. That's great. Uh, first, we uh, make it a tradition to recognize that we are on the traditional unceded territory of the Keitsi and the Semiamu nations. Uh, and uh, we owe a lot to them, actually. Uh, you know, they were here way before us. They've trusted us to look after this uh, part of the earth for them, and sometimes we've done a good job and sometimes we haven't, but that's another story. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, Judd Martell and Stephanie Pritchard for helping put this event together. And uh, welcome everybody to this announcement today. Um, the board trustee members like, uh, well, Troy is here, Troy Clutchley from Local 280, uh, uh, Joe Ponsert and Paul Charbonneau, um, Aaron Smith uh, from Smith Sheet Metal. Uh, they're all people that we're thinking about today because uh, this is a, a pretty important announcement for a variety of reasons. And uh, you know, students who uh, can be listening in, welcome to you too because this is about you and your future. This union-based skills training is key to the federal government's commitment to get more people working in the skilled trades, reducing barriers for apprentices to complete their training, and of course, go on and, and have themselves really good careers. That's why this government is investing in technology and an inclusive workforce. Uh, forging our future sheet metal industry is a project that will help those in this industry advance in this changing economy. So that's why today, on behalf of the Honorable Patty Haidu, the Minister of Employment, Workforce Development and Labour, we're announcing a project that will invest in training equipment and materials to help those apprentices get the skills they need. This project is funded under the Union Training and Innovation Program, the UTIP program. So with that, congratulations and uh, keep up the work, keep turning out those skilled labourers. We'll keep making the story known that a future in the trades is a great future, and it's what Canada actually needs. So congratulations to you. Yep. Would do it all on larger, heavier gauge. Right. So on this one, you would have you would come up to the machine, you would find your edge, it's got a gauge to mm -hmm. it. We would start, so give it a good turn. I think I've gone a little bit, I might have gone too deep in that and we, we get to there, okay. right? Now a little bit more pressure. The bead is the part that's going to actually stop the pipe from coming through. Mm -hmm. Part is what we would do to, to, to work on that next is turn on a cue for it, mm -hmm. and then that's what this here is going to do. It's just going to give you something now more of a visual indicator. Oh, right, okay, how far okay, away you okay, are. Yeah. But one of the lessons that, it, that you want to take away from it, and it's a part of, of MIG welding, is the noise. When you're at that right distance, it's like sizzling bacon, they say, Got it. and then when you pull away, it's, it well, sounds coffee. funny. So you learn eventually you don't need to even look at that cue, you can just listen to the Got speakers it. basically for your, yeah. your distance in and out. Got it. Oops. Bill's worrying about his job. Oh, steady hands. <laughs> yeah, it's <I'd> be better. <laughs>